Hi everyone, this is Bogast Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Nakia figure. So before we take a look at Nakia, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. So first up, she comes with the torso, spear, and mini spear for Okoye. I don't have the mini spear in her hand as you can see. And she comes with these two weapons, which now that I've seen the movie, I, I know a little bit more about it. Um, aside from being sick and, and stuff, uh, I did, I did go get to see the movie before I was sick, and now I know what these weapons are. They're kind of like, a like, uh, boomerangs that she throws. They come back to her. The, the weapons are really cool in the movie. So, like I said, uh, part of the reason I was holding off on reviewing these as well was, uh, because I didn't know anything about them. I mean... I knew their comic counterparts, but I didn't know anything about them in the movie. So now that I've seen the movie, I can review these figures better. And Nakia doesn't wear this costume in the movie until like the last 20 minutes, I think. It's it's the final, like the final fight sequence is when she wears this. Um, I got this collectible cup at my uh, my local theater that had the Black Panther. And you can see... This is what Nikita looks like. And I must say that the likeness is there, but, like, the hair is too light. I think the hair should be a darker shade of brown. Like, really dark brown. And her lips should be a brighter pink. It's a really, really dark pink. Kind of like magenta color, honestly. Um, now, the weapons have a great amount of detail on them. Like, a lot of sculpting detail, which surprised me from an accessory. But, as you can see, there's they're smooth in the movie. They don't look like this. So, that that's kind of odd. Um, I figure this is probably how we'll see Nakia in the second Black Panther movie. She'll, uh, because, like I said, she wears this during the final sequence of the movie. So, we'll probably see her in this during the second one. But for the most part, she mostly stays in this outfit in the movie. But like I said, the the sculpting, it, it does look like Lupita Nyong'o to me. But I feel like the, the paint could be a little bit better. Uh, I was going to say should, but it could be a little bit better. You can see her earrings there. Her earrings are actually kind of a gray, not really silver. But, yeah... That, that's the outfit that she's mainly in in the movie. And uh, these, her weapons here, are actually just smooth. They're not, uh, they don't have all this sculpting going on on them. I thought that'd be handy while I was reviewing the figures. <laughs> but the, the whole costume is sculpted really nicely. It's got a lot of tribal design in it. And I really love that. Then it has that gold on it, which for Okoye, the gold is, uh, it's kind of put on there, uh, it, it's not put on very well. It's kind of skimp. They skimped on it, that's what it was. Like, right here, you can see that, uh, that gold isn't on the lines. Well, this one it is. This one isn't. It, it's off the line there. But that dry brushing looks really nice, especially right here. On the long cloth piece. And then right here, her belt buckle has that. Is that a panther? I think that's a panther. Kind of looks like an owl from from this far back. Looky, looking at the camera from back here, it looks like an owl. And I know it wasn't an owl. Um, the legs look really nice. They have that sculpting on them. And if you look, the back of them has sculpting too. It's not just smooth. Uh, my only problem with this figure is, uh, I know the camera's moving there, I didn't mean to do that. Um, right here, you can see it's sculpted so that, uh, it, it's meant to be just right there. But it tends to move, and then it creates that, which is unsightly. So if you move the figure's legs, it usually moves down like that and looks like that, which, which can be a pain. But the sculpting is just insane on this figure. 
And I do like the color to it. it it's really nice. I think the sculpting is good on the weapons, too, even though they don't look like that in the movie. A lot of figures actually get made before the movie's out, and that's that's what the problem is. They should wait until after the movie's out to release them, because usually they're working off of uh, prototypes for the movie, like, uh, not really how the design actually is, because, like I said, most of the toys get released before the film instead of after. And there's her boots. Not sure what these things are, but looks nice. And there's her the bottoms of her boots. And they have some sculpting detail as well. So, honestly, Hasbro went above and beyond with the sculpting on this figure. Uh, I can't say there's a lot of paint, because there's just that dry brushing of uh, uh, gold. And honestly, I think it was supposed to be painted on these lines instead of dry brushed. Um, and that's that's another, that that's really the only other issue I have. Is that um, the gold? Oops. Is the gold on this figure's dry brush instead of actually being painted between the lines? And that's the problem that Okoye has too. Is instead of actually painting the gold on, they just dry brush it on, and it comes off just like skimped details, like something put on really quick just to. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, Hasbro just did it to probably save money. I don't know. To me, I'd want to make the product look as good as possible. But, that, that's my only other issue with this figure, is some of the paint detail. Like like I said, uh, her hair could be a little bit darker, and her lips need to be more pink. And the gold is dry brushed on, and I think it's supposed to be painted in between the lines, not just dry brushed on. So now I'm going to go over the articulation. She's got a ball jointed head that can look back all the way. And look down all the way. She can move her head side to side. And her head does move pretty freely. Like, you can see that her head, just touching it, moves it. Uh, she's got ball jointed shoulders. And her right shoulder doesn't move out very far because this piece is molded onto her bicep. And if you move it any further, it makes a noise like it's ripping off. So, I did that right before the review and just about ripped it off. <laughs> Her left shoulder, though, <coughs> uh, can move out very, very far. So if she didn't have this uh, shoulder piece right here, she could probably move her shoulder out just as far. She's got a single jointed elbow, which can move in pretty good. It, uh, oh, camera got blurry there for a second. Um, it actually functions as a double jointed elbow, which is really good because uh, the female figures, uh, I think Proxima Midnight's going to have double jointed elbows, which I'm hoping all female figures will uh, from here on out. She's got a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back all the way, can move down all the way, move side to side. She's got ball jointed hips that can move out that far. Let me, there. She can just about do a split. She can kick forward that far. She can't kick forward all the way because of that loincloth right there. She's got a swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knee. A swivel at the ankle. And an ankle rocker. That doesn't seem to want to move to the other side. There. So this figure is really awesome. I, I thought it was awesome when I got it. Because I got it before I saw the movie. But after I see it, seeing the movie, I do see some flaws in the figure. So, like I said, it's not it's not bad by any means. I just have small issues with it. But honestly, maybe I shouldn't even say issues because this figure probably was made before the movie was out. So, so that's that's probably why it does look like that. So before I do the comparisons, there she is next to how she pairs in the movie. But she does appear like this, it's just towards the end of the movie. Let me move it like that. And uh, Nakia is actually Black Panther's ex in the movie. So, here she is, next to Black Panther. Back like that. So they scale pretty good together. Here she is, 
next to Okoye. Oh. Let me fix that. Okay, so so let's let's not put them together because one or the other is going to knock knock the, each other over. They will knock each other over. And then here she is next to Killmonger. That looks pretty awesome together. So overall, this figure is really awesome, and I think the likeness is pretty good. And my only issue is honestly with the paint. So this is a pretty good figure. So that's my review of this figure. So if you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.